I'm on. You're live? Yep. Hello! Oh, wait, my voice is off. Hello! <laughs> oh, wow, that's loud. It's our very first podcast, guys. Oh, well, Jawcast. Jawcast. Podcast Jawcast. <laughs> I'm Bella Harris. And I'm JD. And we're, we're, we're gonna, you don't want to talk about it. We're gonna be. <laughs> Amateurs today. <laughs> like we've never done, we've never done a podcast before. But um, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, we got to. That's not gonna take five minutes. <laughs> the intro. Yeah, the intro didn't take five minutes. Watch me do it five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like our first one. We're super excited. I don't think I even put it on here. Oh shoot, my whole thing is ruined. <laughs> no, it's not ruined. Okay. So. Wait. So I actually don't have a double screen like someone, so I can't show you what I'm doing. But we're going to be doing some warm up sketches. Is that you? Oh yeah, that's just my phone. Etsy's bothering me again. It's like, hey, this app sucks. It's for sale, you know. Like, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to practice a draw. Okay, let's practice this draw, man. Oh, and then um, in our laptop left corner, if you can see um, the other person that we're, we're co-streaming. So we're co-streaming. Um, so if you could find, try to see what both of us are drawing at the same time while we're talking about stuff. Yeah. But um, let's start some warm-up sketches. So the program that we're using is quickprogram.com, which lets you set up references for... Um, Pretty much anything you can see here, like for people, you can do specifically hands, feet, faces, animals, or landscapes. Um, we're gonna do people with clothes on and huh? costumes. The pictures are only gonna display for sixty seconds, but it's only gonna display on hers because <laughs> I don't have it done on other screens to just display you that screen. So, so like, yeah, we'll have sixty seconds to draw. Hey, look, yeah, sixty seconds to draw. And like after the picture changes, that's it. We gotta move on to the next picture. Mm-hmm. That's how we're gonna roll. All right, ready? <laughs> yep. Start this. Art. Out. Ink. This whole canvas is wrong immediately. <laughs> we need to switch it over. I don't know what to do. I need to rotate. <laughs> I need to rotate. Okay. Clockwise. This is not what you're doing. Oh, and then this reference is so tiny. I, I did not understand all that green too, and I need to. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Well, that's the end of our show, guys. Let me see. Oh, wait, look, look, while we're while we're drawing these references, we're also supposed to talk about stuff. So what can we talk about? Um, everything and nothing at the same time. So JD and I are actually friends from college. We actually went to an art school together in Colorado, called RimCAD, or the Rocky Mountain College of Arts and Crafts. That's where we met. 
Yeah, that's what it was. Met. He met Andrea. Andrea. Was it a history? I think yeah, it was history class. History. So it has already went. I'm done. <laughs> you gotta go to the next one. Oh crap! Me too. Oh uh, no. I'm drawing. I'm drawing too big. You. I'm like over here. So tiny. I can't see. Um, I'm just gonna fill in this one. Oh. <laughs> this lady has like ten. I just drew her super big. So yeah, we we met in history class. We just kind of played around with each other. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna care about how big you look. You might just get your toes out. Okay. You get said, and you said that sixty seconds wasn't gonna be fast enough. Well, I didn't. I didn't they, think about how I would need to talk while I'm doing this. I told you. Oh man, everyone. <laughs> my my dude's wearing a cravat, and and he looks he looks like really really seventies. Okay, this guy just took the wig. Oh my gosh! Oh, I have ten seconds left. No. Okay. Oh this, man! I what this really is is actually competition. You get to not talk over with the letter. No! <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> Next I one. Oh, okay. Oh my God! That guy's a big coat. Man, don't worry, guys. Like, give it a couple of uh, months, and we'll be on. Sixty yeah, seconds will be nothing to us. <laughs> How does that pose even work? I can't even see his his clothes under his clothes. They're so freaking baggy. Who wears shit like this? Oh, I'm sorry. How are you holding? What? You'll see. How are you holding? You'll see it later in the vlog. This dang uh, um thing. I don't even. I don't even. How does this work? I don't know. Okay. He's got. He's got this thing going on. With this huge. I don't even. What? Okay. okay I gave up. I gave up. <laughs> we're still supposed to talk about stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can do it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've never done podcasts before. Yeah, we've never done podcasts before. We've always been out talking about <laughs> things that we should do it, and we're now going to do it. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, thanks. The pressure, the pressure is on. The oh, no, is the, on. no. Oh, this one looks nice. She looks really sexy. I like how you know stairs, but no. <laughs> oh, you got the one on stairs, too? Oh, yeah, the snowboarder. Oh, no, never mind. I got completely different. Her hat is amazing. <laughs> what were we talking about? We were talking about school. We were talking about how we met. Um, uh, we missed his art history because you know that's the only kind of history we need. I still failed my class. I I passed. I failed and passed holistically. I know. I'm ashamed. Sh- sh- I paid like money for that. But yeah. Uh. Yeah. We met there with a friend who actually was it. Did you? Meet it was, it was Stephanie. No, uh, it was Jose. It was Jose? Yeah. Jose was like the talker. He did all this other cool stuff. It could have been. No, it was Jose. That is the most sexiest confusing you, photos I've ever seen in my life. Sorry. Because you, um, <laughs> oh. Change. Oh no, look at that guy. Whoosh. I see a butt. He's wearing clothes and I still see a butt. What oh, that's butt? what I had that one already. Let's see. We'll have to compare <laughs> after this. Yeah, we'll definitely have to compare. <laughs> nice butt. Man, this guy's stamp. He's tight though. He's good. Oh my gosh. Those thighs? Oh, Very well defined is. muscles. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm over here like looking at this guy's face, you're like, look at these muscles. And I'm all like, man, I muscles and high heels and tight uh, yeah. armor? This is It's like very uh uh armor. <laughs> yeah, I had her. Her sister. I think I had I think she's the one that I actually focused on the most because I wasn't too worried about the hair. You know? I focused so much on the butt it's huge. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I, was, I focused more on her shape. Realistically. Oh no, I don't have any room for the sword. Ah, dang, change. Okay. But yeah, we're both animation students too. She took 2D and I took 3D. I'm a 2D I'm animator. She's a 3D animator. Yeah. I do draw more and um in the here and now, like she draws in the future. So that's why I could explain it. <laughs> Actually, she I don't know how to respond to that. If really? Because it's technically true. How do I draw in the future? You, well, first you have to get all the stuff, and I can just, like, uh, you can get your characters and then do stuff like that. And then after that, you have to get, um, and then you can animate. Like, you have to figure out your character, have it all, like, 3D built it in 3D, and then animate it. 
Well, I can just animate, like, pretty much off that. I don't need to, like... We could also, we could also not make our own and just use models that someone else made. Yeah, but, I mean, we're talking about, like, more in the industry type of thing, you know? Of oh, interest. Ooh. Oh, I love... Okay, it's a good thing I did not actually, like, you know... That's okay, Charles. It's a good thing I didn't... <laughs> It's not showing, it's displaying anything. Because there's a female samurai. This is a Jeff G C C C Condemned poster that I'm drawing. Oh, really? That was really? I don't even know how these fools work, but her leotard is amazing. And I didn't give myself enough room for this one either. Well, this is why I shrink it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I did shrink it. I'm well, like, I am cheating. I almost gave myself 500 pixel wide to work with. Oh really? I gave the my my the one that you told me to do. You are watching speed drawings, Doodle. This is this is what um gesture drawing is called. I think yeah, you were the one I told about this website before too. Basically, um, by doing these sixty second pose exercises, oh, done. Mm -hmm. we train our eyes to um, basically look for the important stuff. And get that done quickly for communication purposes. Oh my gosh, Riley. Oh, they're done. They started eating my hair. Well, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you started the thing while we started doing that introduction. That's also true, so... So, we, we know that this is going to take uh, 10 minutes to pose it. 10 poses to... Alright, we're not done. We still have two more to go. Oh my gosh, these leaves, though. I have, I have a lady wearing a nighty, And, um... Maybe the natural. costume wasn't like the best type of thing to do for. No, we, we they have to be clothed. We can't have. Yeah, I know, but I mean, costume. <laughs> oh, my volume is really low. Sorry. So, like, we're we're trying to set it up. Well, the microphones are between us on our desk, and we're kind of like yelling into them to try and. She's a super angry lady. She made me wear two dress. Oh, I, I hate this one. Do I have my microphone close to? But, ah, uh, there's my mouse. Okay. I don't, I don't understand how this tool works. Okay. So we've got our thing, and then we've got just up here, up here, we've got one there. I'm throwing off the skateboard. Wait, do I have any? Oh, oh no. Ooh, that's a very uh, interesting. I kind of wish it was upside down. But that would have been randomized too. Finish your anyway. shoulder. Here's your arm. Oh, your arm is up here. And then up here, I think. It does look like an almost broken neck, doesn't it? It does. It looks like an almost broken neck. Oh, Snowy! Hi, Snowy! I didn't. Yeah, um, we're busy drawing and trying to talk for a podcast for things. I still, I still don't understand how podcasts work. Welcome to our first podcast, guys. We're, we're gonna just draw and just then uh, mumble throughout most of it. So. Like, after, after the introductory sketches are done, we're actually going to have topics to talk about. Mostly, like, anime and stuff. Um, it's oh. mostly the thing, the one thing that we have in common with Oh, we should check out Lumineers. Let me check my... I'm going to get into this, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um. Ooh, I didn't know you were thin. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I love this hair. Look at this hair. It's so... No! Oh, Photoshop, don't do this to me. Oh, I haven't updated it. Gosh. You were supposed to update it. <laughs> Here's the oh no! Update what? My Photoshop. <laughs> well, it was away. Oh no! I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like freezing on me. I'm sorry. It's totally fine. It's my fault. It's just, I'll fix it today. And now, I'm now, now I'm sh publicly shamed so everyone knows I didn't do my job. I wasn't here on Sunday and you know it was a big a deal. Oh, I couldn't do it because my thing broke. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. That was all from the last picture. So let's um zoom out. Oh, I'll just leave you here. <laughs> Should be interesting. I'm gonna close this window because I don't need it anymore. Uh all right. Give me a second, I'm gonna put my headset. Oh, how are we drawing so fast? Practice. Um so we went to art school, so we had to learn how to do this in class professionally. All right, so here's my first one. Where are you? I gotta open up your window actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. 
I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, Trace, for the second shot. Alright, here we are. The betrayal of not updating his Photoshop. How dare you? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it's my Photoshop. I'm oh, shoot! I, did you? I have to, like, put it all in one. Hold on, I gotta trace my <laughs> Oh, I didn't do multiple layers. I just took off the I canvas. I did multiple layers. <laughs> okay, hold like on. Like, you can also, like, zoom out and see. Oh, I'm, like, it's tracing them. Give me a second. Not bad, not bad. The other good thing about drawing, these fast drawings like this, while you're watching them being drawn, you can tell what the artist was focusing on first. And, like, watching someone else do gesture drawings is something where, like, always get the important parts of the pose down first so that it communicates well, which is very important for art, professionally. And it took me a while to actually remember that. Sorry. I'm going to lose my... Well, I, I turned down my microphone stuff before because we were shouting really loudly before, and it was it was breaking the audio. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I, like, with this guy, I was mainly focusing on the hair and the face. Oh, you're just moving all the layers around. Yeah, we're just moving... Making them smaller. And it's been a long time since I just drew, so forgive me. Well, it's only been about a month or so for me. I'm, I haven't just drawn in like a year. I mean, like, it, it, it just takes practice, which is why we're going to do this at the beginning of every podcast. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, doing gesture drawings like this, it's very panicky, but you learn to loosen up. And it, just doing it regularly, gesture drawings will help improve your art in the long run. It will. I mean, you could definitely tell where I started <laughs> where, where I didn't. Which was just like, you know, with the face, and then I'm like, oh, screw the face. Yeah, I'm gonna give myself a wider canvas next time. Yeah, I just, like, gave myself, I just did layers. Okay. <laughs> I could see yours through your screen, though. So. I know. Like, all I would do is turn my monitor around and you could see it. Yeah, you can't see mine. <laughs> well, I can. I can see it right here. Right now. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now that that's done. Whew. It's time to put up another layer. I mean, another uh, <coughs> file. Yeah, I can do. Oh, no, I drew on the background layer. That's terrible. That's a Photoshop sin. Oh. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. We were too rushed. Okay. Yeah, you were too rushed. That's why I did layers. I'm all like, I'm not gonna do club. Okay. So. So 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 so. Um, this is a podcast. We should be talking about podcasty things, <clears throat> which means we should have a theme to talk about, and we picked. Our favorite anime because it's the first episode and the leaves. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just fix this real quick because we're gonna do the timer. I'm gonna turn off all these things because they're not working. So we should just do the timer. Yeah. Ooh, let me. Look, while we're talking about our favorite anime, I'm gonna be drawing stuff I remember from before with favorite animes and stuff. I'm not gonna save this file. Fifteen. Ten minutes of work lost forever. Oh no. It was fifteen, right? 15 yeah, we're gonna start with fifteen, yeah. Alright, fifteen minutes on the dot. And do you guys have any other questions about gesture drawing or anything for tips and stuff? Since you're about to watch it? Oh, where's my pen? There's my pen. I found my pen. Oh, sorry, you found your pen. Oh, you know what? I could have just done it there. Yeah, so it's good. Wouldn't that suck if we were drawing and we, one of us lost our pen? Like, in the middle of the... <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, so that would be so it will happen one day. Yeah, it will. So I'm, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Ooh. I want to put this all in a group. Get out of there. Alright. So the first one, we were talking about our favorite anime. I think we all know which one's my favorite anime. Or I think you know more specifically. Our Captain Sakura? No. <laughs> so that one is a good one. I didn't know that one thoroughly. Uh, Where's my brush? Okay. It's Sailor Moon. Definitely got to make a delay of... Sailor Moon was definitely one of my favorites when I was younger. I always liked Sailor Moon. And kind of set me up for my pink later in life. Mm -hmm. That one, she's my favorite as far as, like, my favorite Sailor Moon was the 90 one. The English dub 90s. <laughs> so a lot of people probably knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, Snowy loses her pen all the time. See? 
You see what I tell you? It's like it, it just at the time like you sneeze and your pen is missing. It's like where did my pen go? <sighs> the life of an artist, right? Right, guys. <laughs> um, I don't. I can't say I have a set favorite anime now. I'm still. I still have very fond memories of Northern of Lotus War and Kitty Honey, which I saw when I was like really young. Okay, what's the le- what's the oldest anime he watched? Macross. Ma- what's that? Oh no no no. Um, the oldest oldest one would have to be Astro Boy. Me too. The one. Astro Boy but and 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 Speed Racer. Oh, Speed Racer. Go Speed Racer. Go Speed. I don't even remember what Astro Boy looks like. Yeah, he's like the cute little one with the like the ear with the hair, the big yeah, the little spiky hair that looks like Donald Duck's little butt. Am I gonna draw Astro Boy or am I gonna end up drawing Lucas? I'm know. drawing Lucas. Oh, are we Let's... drawing our favorite now? Oh yeah, we are drawing our favorite. I accidentally drew a Lucas, you guys. <laughs> I, mean, so I don't, I don't remember what Astro Boy looks like at the moment. It's been so long. Um. Do you remember Astro the Astro Boy version of Fre- Freakazoid? Do you remember Freakazoid? What? Do I remember Freakazoid? Yeah, are you know. kidding me? But that's not anime, so I can't draw it. I know it's not anime, <laughs> but like, do you remember the version that they did it? The, that they did of Astro Boy? You get the drink, and then boom, your pen is gone. I know, right? Okay, I must succeed. That's why I have my entire bottle of orange juice right here at the desk. I must succeed. Two liters of orange juice, I'm gonna drink it all by the end of the night. Oh my gosh, it's too much sugar. That is too much sugar. Right, it's it. better than soda. I'm not doing drinking soda. Trying to cut down from drinking like one No, of it's actually, it's technically the same because it's the same, like, the same amount of sugar, but yeah. Oh, what is my favorite anime right now? I have to pick one, and this is not fun. Um. Oh, what the heck? No wonder it was like super weird because I haven't like any super soft brush, and I need to do a hard brush. A soft brown pressure brush. I know when I first started drawing when I was a kid, I was actually more inspired by books, like, fantasy books. I was more inspired by Pokemon. <laughs> I wanted. Oh, I I got into Pokemon later, about 1998-ish, but like I wanted to be a tour book illustrator for books like Piers Anthony stuff. Who's Piers Anthony? Piers Anthony. He's a, a fantasy novel writer. Mm-hmm. And um, basically, all of his books are puns. Pun? Like their entirety is a living pun. Ooh. Every every single little thing. So like uh, the Xanadu books. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. the um, they're they're a fantasy world, mm-hmm. but it's vaguely shaped like Florida. <laughs> okay. Is that where he lives? Now I'm like wondering. I think that's where he lives. Because that would be the best way to, um, the, the best places that, uh, or the most well known places, usually where artists end up drawing, locating is the place where they're, like, where they live or where they grew up. Like us in Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I want to do something, I have to be in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could do, I have one in New York. Oh, yeah. In the old 90s anime and other cartoons have this very distinct look. And it, like, it flows really naturally when they're not super cheap. Well, what are you talking about? Every freaking anime, every like year, every decade has their own look. But like, yeah, the, the, cell, the, the actual cell shade. Mm-hmm. It, I don't know how to describe it. Do I, even, do I remember what Tenchi Muyo looks like? Man, Tenchi Muyo. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was my first uh first anime. It was my first anime crush. Tenchi. Um and I always wanted him to stick with Ayega. I still don't know what I want to draw. No okay. no no. <gasps> yeah, and Slayers. then Slayers. I I'm gonna I should draw Limit Weavers. If I'm if I'm gonna pick a favorite anime, it's gonna be Slayers. Oh you know what? Oh you know, I just drew her face. But I'm gonna actually have to pull up a ref for Limit Weavers because I have no I have a vague recollection of what she looks like. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. Where is it? 
So, yeah, when I was a kid, um, my, my dad was stationed in Japan in the army before I was born. And when I was born, my mom said, okay, he's six, so he was in space. But my dad found anime when he was in Japan in the 80s. So, he bought VHS tapes. I know. I found anime through the regular way, <laughs> the TV. <laughs> Which I thought was just American, a very fancy American looking cartoon. And then I found out that it wasn't. And then I'm like, oh shoot. And then somehow I became a bumpkin. Thank you, Avat, for telling me that this picture is safe. But is it safe for work? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Snow, you were born in Japan too? Oh my gosh. I was born on the Okinawa Army Base. I have no memory of it because I was with my uncles when we flew here in November. Mm -hmm. That's it. Did your grandparents live here? Or... They used to live here. Okay, but that's probably like, why. Living here got too too expensive, and their retirement funds couldn't handle it, so now they're in North Carolina. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a pretty cheap place to go, North Carolina. I wonder why. Because of all these floods. Oh, is that why? I don't know. <laughs> I just I just talked really bad shit about North Carolina and I apologize to anyone who's living in North Carolina at the moment. I think it's because it's haunted. We all know it's haunted. And yeah, you know, if your property haunted. is haunted, it's like cheap. Lena, how the heck does your hair work? How do you get this? Is this bedhead? You have bedhead. You care about as much about your looks as I do in the morning. Go, girl. No, no, no. Now, now we know where my real influence is not. <laughs> Dude, I think it is, because, like, I'm total, so I'm a total crybaby, right? Everybody knows me. <laughs> right? <laughs> but I mostly think to Sailor Moon that I was all like, yeah, it's okay to cry. I could be a superhero and cry at the same time. And that's what I do. <laughs> Today is your birthday, but... Oh, happy birthday, Snowy! Happy birthday, Snowy! You're born in Tokyo, you know this. Very jealous. Oh, shoot, you were born outside the country at least. Yeah, I I wasn't necessarily born for paper, <laughs> but okay. Uh, but um, yeah, I was born here. I I just gave Lena inverse the signature nineties zigzag blush. Ooh, let me see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, she's so 90s. Look at that. Are you sure it was 90s? Because how many are actually made in the 80s? Oh, you're, you're right. But they came into the US in the 90s. So yeah, to us it's like 90s, but they're realistic, realistically a lot of these might be 80s. Like late 80s. So yeah. But. Ooh, we should check when they were actually made. Okay, so Lima was probably made late 80s, 88, 88. I know that the Sailor Moon was made in the 80s. Oh, yeah. And then uh, it was over here translated like in the mid 90s. Now, the place where I grew up, I was lucky enough where our high school had an anime club, even though it was pretty much out in the boonies. Mm, mine was too ghetto to be anime. <laughs> it was like top. My high school was top the second worst. School in Colorado. That's because we lived in Aurora. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. I didn't die. Everyone who grew up in Colorado in the 80s and early 2000s would hear stories about how bad Aurora is and how you should never ever walk by yourself in Aurora. Really? Yeah. I thought that was Denver. Nope, nope. We for for where I lived, it was Aurora specifically. You go to the Parker, but you couldn't go any further north than Parker because that's dangerous and you'll get mugged. <laughs> what? No. Yep. Now I feel insulted. I know, right? <laughs> oh, like, I don't know. I don't know if I could trust this place anymore. Oh, man. Really? That's intense. So, yeah, those, those were the stories I heard about Aurora. Wow. I mean... And now, now it's Pueblo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do not, do not go to Pueblo. In well, Florida. I mean, the best place to sell your art is also in Pueblo, you know? 
Did I hear the cat meow outside? Meow. Monday, fun day. I hope don't play with this file, otherwise he's gonna be upset. I'm done with mine. Yeah, I only right. do this. How much time do we have left on this one yet? I don't know. <laughs> we have three minutes and thirty seconds. I guess I could like love shade it. I guess I could try to make it as cool as yours. <laughs> I guess more more than Slayers being oh, my favorite anime from when I was a kid, I would say Dragon Hat is my absolute favorite. But I can't I can't go that at all. Dragon Hat? Uh Dragon Hat was actually a semi adult anime. Ooh. Did they show any naughty bits? No. Okay. But like they talked about naughty stuff. But Ooh. I was a kid, so I it went completely over my head. Dude, Tenchi talked about naughty crap, naughty stuff. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, as was much every much as an adult, and I'm like, Tenchi, <laughs> you're not supposed to be this. Uh, <laughs> you were more lewd than I is not. And you were in the kids section. <laughs> it was a tsunami. Tsunami wasn't like Adult Swim, so where they had to separate it, which I always found funny because like they put Trigun in Adult Swim. And yeah, like, Trigun was definitely not nearly as bad as Benji. <laughs> 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 like he wasn't as pervy. <laughs> Tenji. <laughs> but yeah, I always find it. Um which other one? One of the uh which the one which is the one that um it's the samurai guy. Rory Genshin. Yes. I had a crush on him too. <laughs> I had a crush on a lot of guys. <laughs> a lot of anime guys. But like why So Yeah, that, that, that's also what influenced our art a lot, because we grew up watching the 90s anime and stuff. Well, it was like, I don't know, it connected to me a lot more than with the other stuff, you know? My mom would watch soap operas, and there would be some, like, kid soap operas-ish, but it was, like, never really, yeah, nothing that I really liked. So. And thank goodness I didn't get into soap operas. <laughs> oh, your Sailor Moon looks really nice, though. Thanks. Okay. Oh, the other cool thing about Lena Inverse is, like, she's probably the most powerful wizard in the world, and she has the sense of responsibility as... As okay. every other anime... As every other uh, 90s anime character. So, like, if Goku was a sassy 14-year-old girl... Are he's not? <laughs> <laughs> he's not sassy. Yeah, he is! <laughs> you know, he's... He's pretty sassy. If when he actually has the mental capacity, he's a sassy. <laughs> you should have been called Goku. Goku's pretty awesome, okay? <laughs> but we all know that Goku has some issues. <laughs> oh, okay. Another uh, text from Snowy. I've always had a love for art, as my father was also an artist. So every time I picked a pencil or marker, I was drawing. I got into the whole anime esque art style. I like the one that Nine on Cartoon Network, where they show some animes. Yeah. Or more into cartoons than anime. I mean, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Um, my dad also actively encouraged my art and drawing. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, we're out of time for this segment. That's fine. <laughs> but, um, like, he, he got me, when I wanted watercolor paints or acrylic paints, he got me acrylic paints. And then other stuff. Um, I wanted to get into sculpture. He bought some clay ones. I still have that clay. <laughs> you know, I only drew. That was it. No one really got me anything. I mean, they'd occasionally be gifting me, like, paint. But that was, like, more outsiders, really, you know? Like, my dad posted my art on BB board because he got frustrated for not being... not. He, he's not an artist, so he didn't know how to tell me more than, oh, it's good, because, mm -hmm. like, he wanted me to get no criticism for it and, like, improve that way. I like it was very frustrating for him because like, I would always bring my art. Like The oldest piece of art I have from when I was a kid is actually Doug. Like I, I guess Doug I watched Doug. Funny? Yeah, Doug Funny came when I was really little. So I just have no memory of the show at all. <laughs> I actually, so here's the funny thing. When I started um, drawing, it was my dad would actually 
gave my brother a picture. Uh-huh. Uh, my brother's like two years younger than me, right? So he gave him a picture, and he's all like, here, why don't you draw this? Make a copy of this. And he gave me, it was one of his old drawings that he actually um, referenced from, right? And I'm like, okay. So then I'm like, I want to do it too. And I did a, obviously I did a way better job. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he's like, you're really good. And I'm like, I am really good. I should become an artist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's how it became. But realistically, I'm like, this is just going to be a side job. And I'm just going to become a doctor. And somehow I ended up here anyway. <laughs> so, uh um. Another message for Stoney. My dad was more of a type to critique me till this day. Even when I show him something, he's like, you need to add more more detail. <laughs> um, my dad was all like, the only thing you need to know is that what you draw needs to look like what you want it to look like. Jeez, you guys have all these supportive people. <laughs> but we, have, we have supportive parents. What my idiot eight-year-old brain took that to mean is you need to draw realism. <laughs> that was the most miserable four years of my life. Trying to get into high school, trying to learn how to draw realism. <laughs> Until my dad just gave me, like, we went to the library and he just forced into my hand, like, how to draw the marble way. Yeah. And then I just, like, wised up a little bit. Like, okay. Symbolism is important. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as kind of like a break from the serious talk, although that wasn't really serious in the first place, was it? We were going to go over <laughs> shit posts. Just, just random shit posts for giggles. We're just gonna look through either, either if you have one quickly to show, or otherwise we're just gonna go through Tumblr and Twitter. Or I, I, I did not read this shit at all, so I am not prepared. Oh, it is so easy. I just go to Tumblr like this, right, and then I put them in the search bar. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch you do it on the first day. You can't watch me because I don't have anything. <laughs> I cannot capture my my thing. Oh, I don't have a second screen, I'm telling you. Okay, so I have to do this on my screen. Mm-hmm. Tumblr. Yeah, you could do it. Like, you could do it with an accent. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Oh, I mean, oh shoot. I can't. My Tumblr dashboard is not safe. Ooh. Thank you, Maria. Actually, I'm gonna see if yours is like much as mine, because mine starts with uh, act- there's a lot more um, my hero academia in here than what I thought would be. Um, so a lot of my people are from the old Homestuck crowd. Mm-hmm. So when you write down the shit posts, it, it that's what pops up. Hey, okay, this is not a shit post, but it's a screen capture of a person who. Left their drink alone for two minutes and then tested it and it was already drunk. That's crazy. Wait, are you the most popular? What? Are you the most popular? Did you just write the word shit post? No, I just look, this is my normal dashboard. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on, lady. <laughs> Do you remember when shit post was just night blogging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people who are up at 3 a.m. with no business being up at 3 a.m. screaming nonsense. Oh, you got the Code Lyoko one? Two, it's the first one, I'm telling you! I mean, no, this is all my. No, 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 like the first one, if you actually put it in order, first one is Code Lyoko. And then it's God is a woman and she has lust of eyes. Uh, this is the shitpost go giver. Nice. He, he is. He is. Very awesome. Oh, uh, I mean, like, yeah, the pressure's... Oh, wait, there was a shit post that was submitted on our Discord. Let's review that one. Review, review. I didn't put the timer on. Whoopsies. Cancel. I mean, we'll just... We're only going to be over this for a little while. That's true. Then we'll be on the next topic. Oh, it's... It's the YMCA song with intrusive thoughts. Okay, hold on. Young men, stick up at the build and run, I said, young men. Stealing birds must be fun, I said, young men. It's just standing right there. Yep. Seize the birds and start running. <laughs> where was this one at? It was it's in um on my Discord where I put the Mighty Drawcast shit post submission thread. <laughs> <laughs> 
So ideally, we would just be able to just look through that shit post submissions and pick out the best one to review. <laughs> So right now we're kind of short, and so what do you? I kind of just I, I do want to draw a random guy just picking up a seagull for no reason. You. Just, I will do that while you do something else. What am I gonna do? Oh, you can go into our shout out channel. Our shout out. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, phone. That's enough of you. Yes, yes, my favorite uh, YouTuber posted a Miso video. That's nice. A what? Miso. Miso? A Miso soup video. Oh. Hey. Right. Who wants a shout out? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to C. <Susie>. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I remember who was like, <laughs> even on. A CBS, are you on? Ah, uh, she's probably, she's probably in bed. She should be in bed. She should be in bed. That but girl has been working so much. She's been working a lot too. Alright, hold on. Oh, uh, well, I mean, Snowy's here. You can shout out to her. Oh, yeah, shout out to Snowy for also being amazing. Her Twitch channel is. <laughs> She's right there in chat. Yeah, Snowy's well, nobody there. else knows it. Who knows? What do seagulls look like? I don't know. We'll just have to. <laughs> seagulls? Just draw it like her, as cartoony as you can. It's okay. Why do I not remember what anything looked like at the moment? Oh, she dabbed! Who? Snowy. Alright. So what do you have? I have. I don't know how to pronounce his username. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not on your stream, so I can't see the username. I know. I just, I, he is Carlos, but I just, you know, would prefer calling him his username, which I can't pronounce. <clears throat> I'm also not on yours, so let me just check yours. Uh, oh. Oh, I just lost mine. <laughs> yes, cool. Oh, oh thanks, Snowy, for putting your link up in the chat. <laughs> like, she, she draws as she plays games. Yes. <laughs> She's a variety streamer. Ooh. Cool. Okay. Like, ideally, this would be. Oh, Fade Dabs. Oh, she's got some special effects going on. Look at that. Yeah, I can't see your chat. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. So, like, ideally, that would be like our ad segment block. I don't even know. Because that's what podcasts do, right? Yeah, this is not like our ad segment spot, but, <laughs> you know, we're still poor. So, let me finish drawing. Um, This isn't funny. Is it not? Is it not? No, but the thing I'm drawing isn't really funny enough. So I don't. Mm. That's why I told you it's gonna be take a long time to actually do it. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I didn't leave. I didn't put on my stream alerts. Wait, were we supposed to put? <laughs> what I think about it. I'm sorry. I mean, I did, but I did it. I did it. Oh. But that's something that's nothing, that's not not anything new at this point either. No, it's not. She's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is random guy picking up a seagull. I don't even know if this is how big seagulls are. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Are you connected? I don't know if you're connected. Are you connected? I'm sure if I'm connected. And now I'm, I'm officially now connected. Yeah. Okay. It says that I'm offline. What? What, you went offline? Really? Check me, man. Check me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm still connected. I mean, it's still showing your Sailor Moon. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, we're going to have to move on from this part. I'm actually going to our next part. 
Which was video games. We're just gonna talk about favorite video games now. Kino Hearts. Kino Hearts. Kino Hearts. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and Final Fantasy. Jealous because I am. <laughs> you still have Kingdom Hearts and I haven't played it. I have all the Kingdom Hearts games. Look for fans, fan of that. Dude, Kingdom Hearts was my very first PlayStation game, right? And, um, it was amazing. But it was my first PlayStation game, so my mom got, I was crying for it. I was like, Mom, look, they have Disney characters, please, please. And she bought me a PlayStation just for Kingdom Hearts. I was so excited. And then my brother got an Xbox. But <laughs> I'm not like, do that. Kingdom Hearts. And then the first Final Fantasy game I played was 7. And that was because it was on sale. And it was only like 10 bucks. Oh my god. At Costco. <laughs> what was the first video game you ever played? The first one? Yeah. It's obviously Super Mario. Super Mario. My dad used to work at a thrift store. Yeah. And that's how we got our console games. It was that he would, that someone would sell them at the thrift store really cheap, and then he would get them and bring them home for us. And the first game I remember playing was Sonic. With my dad. Actually, yeah, Super Mario, and then Sonic, and then my brother, I saw my brother playing uh, Ocarina of Time, Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I'm like, I want to play that game. That game looks cool. My and dad bought Ocarina of Time just for me, the gold version. And it was great. I know. I one of my freaking cousins, like, cause uh, I played his game, but I gave him back to him, but he lost his stupid game. So what I let, I asked this one guy, hey, let me borrow your 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 Ocarina of Time. It was a gold one. Oh. oh yeah. So but and they stole it and then they wrote their name. And I'm like, that wasn't mine, you a-hole. So I had to give him like twenty five dollars. <laughs> It was in high school. I was like, oh, I feel so ashamed. Uh, my brother was definitely one of those kids that stole his friend's video games and he sold them to GameStop for money. That's so mean. Yep. Sorry, I wasn't even drawing. I should draw. No, like, my, my dad actively encouraged us to play games because, like, it was a family holding thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, when Pokemon came out, we each got a copy of the Pokemon game. So, like, I got blue, my brother got red. I got yellow, and my brother got... My no. dad ended up getting yellow for himself when it came out, but he, he played on hours, I did the red or blue one. Yeah. Until yellow came out. Dude, I... Well, actually, I didn't think it's... I think, like, they had to get red, and my brother got blue, and then I finished it. <laughs> and I was like, man, that's it. <laughs> and then my first ever commission request was actually from my grandparents. Aww. They had just bought a new house up in Hudson. And um, they knew that their kids were creative and loved to draw. So they asked all the kids, hey, we'll give you this piece of paper that we're going to post on our garage door. You draw what you want on it. Mm -hmm. And we got paid in tasty, tasty cupcakes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I drew Evie. Aww. Is it still up there? No, that, that house is long gone. Damn it, I need to close the space. Super Mario World. I remember playing Super Mario World. I don't remember being happy or impressed with it. It frustrated me a lot as a kid. Super Mario World? Yep. Mm -hmm. I liked it. It was one of those. But it was it was definitely one of those three D ones. Um, um I also remember Donkey Kong. I don't think I played Donkey Kong. Like the first Donkey Kong where like he's got the barrel and Mario is raising up the ladder to get to him. Oh no, I have never played that first. But I, I, I actually I did play Donkey Kong. I just never really got so interested. Am I really forgetting how mean he looks like right now? I'm so ashamed of myself. Me, why I like drew Soren a few weeks ago and I don't remember his face. <laughs> Damn, and then um, I remember once we were getting closer to the end of elementary school for me, like I'm I'm the older sibling, mm -hmm. so like I ended up getting a lot of stuff first. So I ended up with the computer first, and my brother threw a fit, so that we ended up getting both the like Barbie and Hot Wheels computers at the same time right after. Oh. Um, after I got my computer, it was the first time I spent all night writing an essay at the last minute. 
And my dad got really mad at me because he woke up to his printer just suddenly printing my essay out. <laughs> In 1997. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was loud. There's no way anybody could sleep in, with that equipment. <laughs> but I, I really forgot what Evie looks like. I'm a horrible artist. I'm a horrible Pokemon fan. Just shoot me. Alright. So the Oh, so you're afraid of getting less Pokemon? Or are you just drawing Pokemon? I'm just drawing Pokemon. You draw Pokemon. Um, I, no, like Pokemon is what seriously got me into it. Like really, really headlong into art. So like, while I had wanted to be like a fantasy artist before, mm -hmm. when I was drawing Pokemon in class, everybody wanted to be my friend. I was drawing Misty and uh, what's her name? Um. No, I was a furry from the slaughter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I believe it. Don't joke, but I believe it. I was not a furry. I was definitely more drawn to the carrots than for people. I, mean, I was definitely a huge fan of like um, Robin Hood. Which Robin Hood? The Disney Robin Hood. The box? Yeah. Was he smacks you to you? No. <laughs> the animation was really fun and like it was it was very interesting to watch and like I actually found. When I was younger. Um, my favorite character was actually Prince John. Prince John? Yeah. Because like of how much of a baby he was. <laughs> he was very fun. he was very easy to make fun of. Oh. Yeah, he was. Uh, I, I was a very mean kid. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll say that. No. Yeah, I would I, I never had to steal games from my brother at all. Um, the only the, the only time me and my brother started playing different games was when we were finally in high school. But like we played Legend of Dragoon together, we played uh, Luffy and the Forces of Doom together. Like every day after school, like we would take turns going forward in these RPGs. I never, I don't think I shared with any of my siblings. Oh yeah, Eddie, my sorry, my brother would end up playing. He tried to take, he, he was the first one to play my Kingdom Hearts 2 games, which made me mad. Because <laughs> he just kind of left it. I was all like, dude, seriously, like, you don't just leave the thing there. <laughs> I can't throw the face anyway. But I was upset. But otherwise than that, other than that, we never really, um, had any, we never really shared much. He would use my system, though. <laughs> but I'd buy him another one on Okay, so now he's still talking. Um, favorite games were Legend of Zelda series, Grand Marathon, Tales of Symphonia. I never played Tales of Symphonia. He wanted to, like, no, I wanted to play it. No, you need to play some games. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a squirrel really quick. Um, whatever. And her favorite Robin Hood character was the rooster. The rooster? No, oh, the, yeah, the, 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 the bard? bard. Yeah. My favorite character there was actually, well, it was Robin Hood. Let's be realistic. And um, Little John. Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. Oh, I was gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright claim, no! Disney would. No way. They would. Yeah. Well, they would if we were bigger, but not if we were just small. They're not gonna see. They know better. I think. <laughs> it's what I, I say. Know. And then we get copyrighted, and then we're like, ah! <laughs> I don't know. They're also way too busy, you know? So what, one of the things that I, um, we're going into movies, but <laughs> one of the things that I was, like, kind of terrified when they were doing Coco, or when they were talking about how they did Coco, I was like, dude, you know Mexico has, Mexico and China are, like, the world's biggest, um, Disney fans? <laughs> They'll sell anything at Disney. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, and they're going to find out. A lot of those shops are going to be closed because there's like, they have piñata, you know, they have all that, um, <laughs> like it was, yeah, so I was like, oh, but they were like, yeah, we were excited to see all the, all, all the, how big Disney was a big influence in, in Mexico. Oh, yeah, but Snowy's definitely on my level. She said, Disney, the world like this, singing my songs? <laughs> 
That's how here it goes. <laughs> Play it ring. Ooh, whoa. Okay, I should not make those noises. But this portal looks really nice. Dude, I, I really need to figure out his hair. So it goes like this. This Amy is terrifying. And I'm very, very sad. This way, and this way, and this way, and then <laughs> this way. I had to prep up for if I do end up like singing. So in June, I could play all the Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> you should bring that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go get your capture cards and just keep all that. And I need to get our money though. Shh, we'll get it. We'll get it in time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Who would um, like to donate a screen capture card? Just kidding. It could be an actual screen capture card. Don't need it anymore? You could donate to us. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, considering that we also want this to be a podcast, we should probably also be describing what we're doing. Like, for people who are listening to it as a podcast instead of watching the video. What? They don't. Fig- they can't figure out that we're doing... Oh, shoot. No wonder it was so messed. I mean, I was so confused. I was drawing... Okay. You were drawing on the wrong layer? No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I was drawing. Um, oh shoot, I lost this picture. Uh, I was drawing his his Kingdom Hearts three here. So yeah, even more than RPG games. Like, uh, so you and your brother are seven years apart. Me and my brother are two and a half years apart. So like everything we did, we had to do together because our parents. Well, you're two years apart, come on. Yeah, like, it, it, we, we couldn't be separated. Yeah, you can't, it, it, yeah. Uh, my brother and I are two years apart, too. But, like, um, we also enjoyed Diablo. Our dad had a Diablo game, and then we played it on his computer before he got frustrated and bought multiple copies for all of us. My, uh, I think the first per- the person that introduced it, me to video games was actually my older brother. Mm-hmm. We're, like, eight, seven years no, I'm, I'm definitely a second generation nerd. My dad played D&D. I haven't, so I didn't play D&D until like a few years ago. But no one wants to play D&D with you with me anymore. Like, I, I'm i just, I'm not interested in investing the time in D&D right now. I want d and I'll do a D&D. Come on, man, it's an escape. It's the perfect escape, man. So like we played the heck a lot out of Diablo two. Uh, I can't figure out. I should probably figure out how to play that too. And I always played like the Rogue Jerry Karen because she was awesome. You know what game I really miss playing, but I really hate the fact that it's on Xbox. Oh, Fable. <laughs> oh man, F Fable. Why? It was oh my gosh. I like Fable. Everybody loved Fable, but we didn't like. We stopped getting consoles after the N64. Oh. And, like, I wasn't friends enough with my friends where they would let me just play on their stuff all the time. I also have bad memories of Fable. Is that what it is? Is that yep. what it is? Yep, 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 yep. I was in Fable. Like, my brother got Fable, and I was just addicted to that thing. But I could never pass, like, a certain level. Because, like, it would eventually get boring, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't, I'm not into this questing thing, apparently. And then I would, uh... I got as far as far as like uh, a certain town. I was more interested in actually hitting on women and cheating. <laughs> I was yeah, kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely started having better friends around the time Skyrim came out. You know what I wanted to play when I was younger? What? Uh, what's that one quest? It was like an online one, but I could never afford it. Uh, EverQuest, I think it was. Um, we can play EverQuest Online still. Is it still even like? Yeah, yeah EverQuest it? Online is still a huge. They just came out with an Xbox this year. What? Uh, or expansion pack, yeah. I always wanted to play that one. Um, and then like I, I played. I don't know. It's an M M R P G, isn't it? Yeah, it's an MMO. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when I was little, I was wanted to play it. And like, I'm gonna play this game, and I never did. Like, they would give you the free samples on, on the... On oh, the, yeah, in the, in the magazines and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, all right. And, but I never knew how to do it, because, you know, I wasn't as tech savvy as I should, as I really wanted to be, so... Yeah, I only ever played the Final Fantasy IX demo, because it came in the PlayStation magazine. 
And my dad had to play Saving Private Ryan for some reason at that time. Yeah, it wouldn't let me get the dang, the magazines because of, you know, how expensive they were. Which, you know, compared to now, <laughs> not that expensive. Yeah, but like, getting magazine now is the least. Mm -hmm. I think they stopped Nintendo Plus. No, I think they're just lying. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they're not giving free examples anymore. Let's just say that. <laughs> but they're not doing free ones. Oh, she's going, we were never close growing up, but now that we're in both terms, we have stronger siblings all of us. I mean, that's, that's very nice that you have that goal. I, I can't I can't even imagine how difficult that must be, having a sibling so far apart. But at, at least you're trying. My brother and I, we hate each other. It's a love-hate relationship. Um, I still have a scar on my arm from when I punched through a wall and I argue with him. Love hate relationship, but that's that's why I can I can like fix walls now. <laughs> it's thanks to him that I'm capable of actually becoming handy, <laughs> doing handy work. I mean, man, what did I even do in Diablo Two? It's been forever since I did anything in Diablo Two. Diablo Two was a great game. And I finished playing Dark Is it this one? I don't know what it's called. Um, drywall is not very thick. To be perfectly honest, it really isn't. It's only an inch thick, and if you hit a good spot in the wall where it's between the bracers, you can punch through very easily with not very much force. Yeah. Also, I've been working at Eastmar for the past year, five years, and the first three years was spent a lot of times, multiple times a day, lifting 50 pound pounds from rice over a scanner. Ruined my back, but I had really, really accurate bike pads. <laughs> she looked cool. Uh, Alright, so this is a picture of the Rogue from Diablo 2. Because I played a heck of a lot of Diablo 2 when I was a kid. It was not a game intended for children. Definitely not. But my dad played it with us. We all played at the same time, so we were supervised. While we were killing demons and seeing blood for everyone's screen. I wasn't supervised when I was <laughs> when I was playing Cycle and I was like, oh hey, you know, <laughs> I could do some stuff right here. It's also because of my dad that I'm really not interested in any of like a lot a lot of the other more common games that people like to play, like the FIFA games or <sighs> GTA. I like I cannot stand GTA. Oh, my brother and brother-in-law, like, oh, my brothers and brother-in-law freaking love GTA. And I'm like, ugh, it's, I can't, if it's not a mission, I can't do it. <laughs> and, but, like, I, I, I still remember the first time I ever faced off with uh, against Andario by myself in Diablo 2, and then realizing that she had no top on. She what? Yeah, she didn't have the top on. Did uh, I mean she didn't have an areola either, which was all smooth. It was like Sailor Moon when she was like transforming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like you didn't see any details, but like there was nothing on. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so uh, your Sora looks really nice. No, it doesn't. He looks like a mess. I'm a mess. Well, I mean, you're all over the place. You're like, I'm gonna draw all of this, and then we're just doing all that, and then we're still figuring this out. And I'm just all like, okay, well, I guess I'll just keep drawing my favorite video game. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many favorite things. Like, I can't pick one. Dude, I, I want to play. You know what I want to play? I want to play Dark Cloud. What is Dark Cloud? Dark Cloud is a game where this guy, uh, he gets a magic, like, glove bracelet thingy. So his, like, town pretty much gets disappears because of a curse. Like, this evil genie, like, vanishes, like, town. So then your job, you're the chosen one, obviously. <laughs> yeah. You're the chosen one to, like, bring back peace and whatnot. It's a mess. I'm a mess, dude. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, 
so then your job is to go into caves and dungeons and stuff like that. Well, basically, like, one specific cave or dungeon. And, um, like, get back your people. And then you get, um, you get side characters along the way. So that's pretty good. I like that. They, like, uh, <laughs> they actually showed a clip. Uh, do you know the, what's this thing called? Oh, the Dragon Ball Z Bridge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they actually showed a clip of it. I was so excited. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't cheating at the Dragon Ball Z bridge guys at all. They're 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 uh currently done uh Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> We're all supposed to be drawing. That's the whole point of this thing, so um Oh we should have a little submission section where like they also draw Oh yeah, you can draw along with us where we chat. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. While drawing. Oh that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. We can set that up for next week. So yeah. yeah. Um we are at the end of the We're hoping to do this podcast every Monday. At 9 p.m. Mountain Time. I will definitely set up. A, oh no, my stream is. Oh, is yours obliterated? Okay. It's, no, you're but, still live. I know, but it went down to like 100 kilobytes a second mm-hmm. and was completely red and now it's back into green. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> mine. Well, mine's in green. But let me see if I actually had any. Yeah, I take. It's because yours is pointed over there. You really should be switching your the computer over here, because otherwise, so that way you get like more power. But it could also be the fact that like you know, the graphic card isn't that great. Maybe. Hence like, why I got a new one. But yeah. So yeah, next podcast we probably encourage viewers to draw along with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then submit the art that they drew with us on, on the Discord. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna end it today. Y'all, even though I think we technically still have. Oh, I never set it up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I set up the 15 minutes, but I didn't. Alright. No, no, we're, we're, we're past it. Alright. Alright, thanks guys for coming! Uh, we I hope we were entertaining for you. Enough, anyways. And, like, <laughs> I don't know, I think we got some good drawings tonight. Well, not just that, we had, like, a lot of fun. I don't know about you, but I had fun. Did you not have fun? It was fun. <laughs> Here, I drew Calvin's dad just grabbing your pencil. Who's what? Calvin and Hobbes. Who's Calvin? <gasps> You've never read Calvin and Hobbes? Actually, I think I did. Is it the one with the tiger? Yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Hobbes yes. is the tiger. This is what the, the dad kind of looked like. That's what I thought, but I'm all like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Much fun. Oh, thank you, Snowy. Thanks. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming. We'll be back next week. Monday at 9, Mountain Time. Yeah, and then we'll be streaming normally throughout the rest of the week, so... Don't forget to visit our normal stream, <laughs> which are also exciting. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> well, like, we're still figuring this out. Hey, this is our first one, so our outro is going to be pretty awkward. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. I stopped. I stopped.